this is the first video for my seven days to die series um, I'm new to this whole recording and I hope you guys find it interesting I'm going to take you through uh, two of the bases that I've built on this particular seven days to die server um, I hope it's interesting to you I hope you find take something useful out of it and yeah let's get started um, in front of you you'll see the two bases on the right hand side is my first initial attempt at a, a water based uh, defense structure and on the left hand side is um, an evolution on that design so let's get started um, as you can see what I've done is I've actually built a floating bridge just to make it easy for me to get across and then the final three voxels um, I can remove in a drawbridge which keeps the zombies out uh, here on the right hand side obviously you can see is a farm um, planted with a bit of cotton and some corn at the moment if we go into the base you can see it's a standard uh, I think I made it 13 by 13 um, all the forging area the supply area and in the center holding up the roof is the supply chests and then if you have a look down here we go down a little bit we come into no, let's go up you come into the underground area this is the repair chamber for my underground defenses or my underwater defenses which I'll show you guys in a little bit um, let's just uh, all this the spikes on the other side and this is where the zombies fall in I just wanted to access to be able to repair it if and as needed uh, if we go further down I built a bolt hole if you want to call it that um, there's some weapons uh, in the chests here all the the um, parts are split up and then a gun safe with all the uh, completed weapons in it also this was my old uh, surplus supplies which I don't use anymore and then if we run all the way down this extremely long passage it comes up on the other side away from the base on the other side of the lake and pretty much is a safe bolt hole ensuring that if for some unlikely reason my base got overrun I would have a safe way of getting out and there you can see on the other side nice and neat unobtrusive and no one's found this as of yet or at least no zombies have found it and I haven't had any issues on that base except for the odd random spawn that is somewhat uh, disconcerting when you're not expecting it um, but yeah this was all dug out with a uh, pickaxe as I hadn't been able to find an auger at the time so yeah that's pretty much it let's go back up to the surface now and I will show you the other uh, second generation base hold on a sec Uh, just one little thing, as you can see, same uh, bridge uh, setup as on the other side, just leading to the other side of the lake. Just close the doors in case we have any zombies. Right. So this was inspired of a, of a design I found on the internet for a lake house. Uh, just a little bit of decor, nice little walled off area for recreation flower bed and then this would be the outside patio where you could set up your barbecue or whatever other outside activities you feel the need to do in a post apocalyptic world um, on this side I've done the same thing got the flower bed running down the front of the house you can see all the glass paneling and all the um, furniture inside for the rooms um, I try to do little bit of a design with these two pieces of concrete that butt out so that's just there for aesthetics they don't actually serve any real purpose and then you'll see here outside the main bedroom I made a little garden just to make things look a little bit neater or a little bit more attractive um, that's the view in or the view out from the main bedroom and let's go down here right so this is basically the front door to the base as you walk in nice gun safe here uh, stocked with some emergency supplies some repair tools some weapons if you're out of ammo whatever 
as you come in here this is the first guest bedroom followed by a lounge area with a nice view out onto the um, lakes bed and you've got the gardens in front of you as well this is a second guest bedroom with a desk nice big area uh, this trapdoor again leads down to the repair area for this for this base I'll take you underwater and show you the defenses shortly and if we go back up uh, come on right okay so let's move on this is the cobblestone stairway leading up to the other floors and this is the door leading out to the patio that I showed you earlier if we go upstairs to the first floor this is my forging area obviously I've laid it out nicely with all the different forges all the mats there to make whatever I need to make all my weapons with my parts um, explosive supplies medical supplies etc um, if you go through here some nice lounge areas and again another area where you've got a good view out onto the the lakeside and just generally should sit here and chill if you go on to this side it's the master bedroom as I showed you from outside and you've got your walk-in cupboard and gun safe just in case you happen to run out of weaponry again and then we can go up to the second floor up here I made a nice kitchen area I've got all my fires all my campfires in the cabinets all the mats needed to make whatever foods I require in here is the pantry or storeroom again all the foods and water and whatever else I need here is my dining room table I just took some kitchen cabinets and uh, turned them facing or faced them onto each other and it forms quite a nice table again you've got a full glass wall which gives you a good view out onto the lakeside again and I tried to use glass wherever I could uh, if you actually have a look at the ceilings I've made the, the ceilings as much glass as I could as much weight as I could get to to support um, and the rest of it's all all just reinforced wood um, come on to another wonderful viewing area nice big couch to sit and relax on and then if you really have a hard day of killing zombies here's the spa where you can come and relax in the jacuzzi after a hard day's killing right then that's pretty much everything on this side I will take you downstairs and into the water so you can see the defenses that are actually supporting this base that make it pretty much impenetrable by the zombies due to the fact they can't swim um, let's have a look here let's jump into the water as you can see that's the defenses under the first base um, it's just three rows of spikes sunk into the ground with another level of or another row of spikes on the top uh, every now and again the zombies do manage to make it up to the second level of spikes and bash on the on the center wood column um, you can see on this side I did away with the wood and made everything out of reinforced concrete um, I've literally never had to do much in the way of repairs um, you did see at the start of this video there was one small little crack and that's literally the first repairs I've done to this in the 80 odd days that this this game has been running um, once again you can see another three rows of spikes and inside that big concrete block was where we were earlier um, which allows me to do repairs to the wall should the zombies actually damage anything and that's pretty much it um, I hope you like the look of this base um, I hope this, this video was of interest to you I'm going to end off here and I'm actually going to switch to another server where I've built another base which might be of interest so I'll be right back in a, in a few minutes thank you very much okay I'm back this is the second base that I built again I went and found a design on the internet that I quite liked and I thought I could replicate it on seven days to die uh, some of the physics didn't work out quite the way I like would have liked uh, due to the dynamics of the game so for instance these central support columns weren't in the initial design but were required to support the weight of the base um, as you can see I've built 
my standard three rows of defense or three rows of spike defenses uh, in a pit that the zombies can get into fairly easily. Um, the main wall that they bash against is reinforced concrete which is fairly solid and doesn't need much maintenance. There are four access points, all these four pillars, one around each side of the base, provide drawbridge access to the base for, for myself and keep the zombies off. And then I built a metal bar or a me an iron, iron bar lip, which allows me to shoot through the bars at the zombies that happen to be killing themselves on the spikes. So let's just go in on this side. Again, this is just some um, nice little water feature, nice little area to, to relax here. Again, a bit of an outside patio. Gives you a nice view of the lake and the surrounding area. The zombie hordes generally come in from this side of the base, so it's a nice place to sit and shoot from. If you have a look here, you can see the the roofing structure goes up quite a few levels and is quite substantial, and was quite interesting to build. Got very, very fairly nervous some of the time, and I actually managed to completed with I think only two falls and one or two broken legs which was quite an achievement I thought. As you come in from outside here is the first lounge area again got a nice view out onto the lakeside and just generally nice area to sit. Uh, doors leading out onto the other side there's the iron bars and the lip the spider zombie lip. Um, again the gun safe uh, containing weapons if you need something quickly to to kill off some zombies if you're out of ammo or whatever again this trap door is actually leading down into my mine which I'm not actually going to go down um, it was just needed for construction I should probably close it up uh, I just needed all the stone for the, the concrete again another viewing area onto the lake if you have a look down here this is your dining room uh, I did away with the cabinets and went with some brick salvage from the from the city nearby. Once again, giving you a nice view out through the glass glass walls. Once again, the defense has been fairly effective, and I have yet to have a zombie actually come up or, or get past them and attack the actual base. As you come upstairs, you've got the kitchen area. Again, the cabinets with all the the campfires and all my food supplies. If you go through this door here you'll actually see some of the the roofing structure and some of the the slanted or the the, the angled areas. Um, due to weight concerns I haven't really done much with those areas. Um, I'm just a bit worried about uh, collapsing the structure. Um, again just glass wall view out. Um, into the forging area, again the, the different forges, being able to make the different items that I'm required with all the supply chests, supply crates. And then if we move on up here, I've just got a little study area, the desk and a gun safe. Just uh, again looking out onto the, the area outside. If we go upstairs, I've built some sleeping areas. Um, three different sleeping compartments for whoever might be staying in the base uh, all with their own beds, safes and desks and then up here is the storage, all the gun parts and all the completed guns again just a little bit of lounge area, some pot plants and again you can see some of the structure that forms the, the sloping roofs outside if we go up to the next level um, all I made this area is again some couching for some for some relaxing. The view is getting quite high from up here, and then I just made some desks. Uh, you need to write your your life story or whatever else you need to to do. Um, on this side, again, we're starting to run uh, run out of space, and you can see some of the supports going up into the into the roof. Again, due to weight concerns, I didn't want to do too much on that side from a decoration point of view. And then if we go up to the last level, it is pretty much purely functional. Uh, it's just the final bits and pieces for the for the roof. Um, 
I haven't really, there's my sleeping bag, um, but I haven't actually really done much else with it up here. Um, and then the last set of stairs takes you up into the final section of the roof. As you can see, we're definitely quite high up now. I think this is five stories high with double floors as well. Um, when I started building it, I didn't realize how tall the building was actually going to be. And it's, it's, it's a substantial building. As I said, uh, when I was building it, I got quite nervous when I got up doing this final part of the roof. But yeah, it's something a bit different. I uh, hope you guys like the look of it. Uh, give me your comments and feedback either on this base or on the first two bases I showed you. And yes, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you looked, if you did, please like the like the videos. And hopefully this will be the first video in a whole series of, of videos to come. I'll do a Let's Play when Alpha 12 comes out. And yeah, I'll build some more bases. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got some ideas from it. And yeah, thanks very much for watching.